This is the big boy right here. I actually found this at my buddy Jorge's place. I don't know if he started it from seed or not, but it is beautiful. This plant is really, really tall already. Uh, I've got a heavy pot, but I don't want to take a chance of it falling over. And these are really easy to propagate. So I'm gonna take this top one right here and I'm gonna go right at the elbow, right there. Now you wanna make sure you sterilize your tools beforehand. I went ahead and sprayed it with some isopropyl alcohol and uh, we've got our cutting. You wanna go like a minimum of like six to eight inches. This is probably about a 10 inch cutting. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and put it in a dry spot and let this scab over for a couple of days. All right, so it's been about four days since we did our plumeria up potting and we took this cutting off the top. Uh, and you can tell that the end has completely scabbed over and dried up. The reason you wanna make sure to let it scab over and dry is if you were to stick this straight into the soil and it was wet and exposed, it'll introduce all kinds of diseases, fungus, mildew, all those scientific words. Um, but if you let it scab over, uh, it will still make roots, um, but it won't really have a, a risk of disease. Uh, so one of the first things I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna take these leaves off just like that because they're gonna die anyway. They're gonna die back. Uh, anytime I've done a cutting from plumerias, uh, the old leaves typically die back and the new ones form. Um, so, but I want this to actually focus on creating roots and not creating a whole bunch of leaves. Uh, what we need is a pot with some soil. All right, so plumerias might be one of the easiest things to propagate because you don't need to you don't need to strip it back. You don't need to add any hormone. You don't have to do anything special. You're just going to take some good quality soil. I believe this is heirloom soils, the works, and you can either make yourself a hole, uh, but this is actually a pretty firm cutting. We're just going to stab it right in, just like so. Don't force it like at an angle or anything like that. We're going to go back and we're going to pack it in. Gonna give it a real good compaction. Uh, if you don't have good soil compaction on your cutting, you're not gonna get good root growth. You're just gonna allow uh, room for water to collect and uh, you're gonna get rot. So we're gonna pack it in nice and tight. Add a little bit on top, making a mess. Don't worry about going too deep or whatever. Um, because everywhere that this touches soil, it's gonna grow roots. So, just like that, boom, shaka laka. And it's, it's, not even, it's not even straight, but in the spring, after this is like developed some roots and has some nice foliage, I'll probably transplant it to a bigger pot anyway. And then we're gonna make sure to label it. I really like these labels. There's a link form in the description down below it has all my links for everything I use. Um, I like to reuse these. If you take some nail polish remover, it'll take all the ink off, uh, but they stay pretty well durable out in the garden in the sun. So for this one, we're going to write, we've got Jorge's Mystery Plumeria. I have no idea what variety this is. It's from my buddy Jorge's place. Didn't have a label. So we're just going to stick it right into the pot. We're going to take it over. We're going to put it in my propagation area. These are where all the propagations hang out. We got the pomegranates I just did today. And this is actually a good spot for right here. This is my old greenhouse structure that I put a shade cloth on. But this one is special to me right here. This is actually a pomeria that I started from cutting about four months ago. And you can see how good it's doing. Uh, I actually was at a bar and I saw they had a plumeria and I did uh, a little bit of prop lifting. I took a little little snip and uh, took it home, let it scab over, and the rest is history. I actually named this uh, cutting after the bar. It's called the Axelrad plumeria. And maybe I'll even name this plumeria after Jorge. So hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, you see how simple it is to propagate plumerias. Uh, the hardest thing is waiting to let it scab over. Uh, so that it doesn't rot when you put it in the pot, you know? So I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one.